Welcome back to Horizon 4! It's only like two hours since I've recorded the, the Corvette video, but this is probably gonna go up like the day after. Anyway, this car, it's very sick and it's, they actually scanned it a long time ago. Um, last season, he ditched the supercharger setup in favor of uh, nitrous. So, really, the engine bay doesn't look anywhere near this anymore. But... What the heck? Is this car even legal? Because they're not allowed to cut away much in between the suspension... And strut towers. <laughs> I love that he's <laughs> he has freaking six different brake calibers, Ferrari brake calibers. Oh, that's awesome. But this is actually pretty much a mid engine. The pretty much the whole engine is behind the front axle, which helps with weight balance. But, also, yeah, those are two superchargers on a V12. Centrifugal superchargers on a V12. Stock intake manifold as far as I see. Uh, big intercooler. <laughs> There's so much piping, it's ridiculous. It's also so frickin' wide. It's redonkulous. You can actually take off the rear end. Well, actually, yeah. Well, big scoop for the rear radiator setup. Really, it's better to have int intakes like on the sides going into the radiator because mm, when drifting, not well, your airflow isn't really over the car. It's more like going like this. <laughs> so not much of air is actually going through that, but yeah. But is that Nexons? Didn't he run like Nettos or was that his second season? I actually don't remember. But I remember this car. This, I was... What the, I was like, what the heck is this? Why the hell is there a Ferrari in Formula Drift? And then you hear it doing like the practice stuff and you just like fall in love with it. Seems like a heavy flywheel. Of course. The centrifugal supercharger setups lately, they don't act like centrifugal superchargers. Also, this is by far not really the most powerful engine ever in Formula Drift. But it's still 917 horsepower. Those end plates are huge. I kind of wish I had turbos, more torque. Because it's kind of gonna fuzz up top. It's like six, three, four hundred foot pound difference. But still. Of course he's Italian, of course he's Sparko. It would be either be Sparko or Momo, but... 
this cage actually obstructs a fair bit of the view. Wish they could tuck that bar higher up, but I guess you pretty much would hit your head. I don't know. I've never been in a Ferrari. I've seen one. Like six or seven years ago. I think it was like a 430 or a 360. I don't remember. It was like some mid-engine V8 thing. This thing is sick. It doesn't sound like any of the other any of the other engines because okay it sounds like that let's try and remember what this thing sounds like it also arrives to 8500 rpm let's go to ferrari and get the closest thing which probably will be like a 599 gto this thing wouldn't no, because these both have um, six liters. Um, one has 300 more horsepower than the other because of superchargers. They sound very different. They rev the same, so that kind of confirms it's very much the similar engine. Um, I know that that's the GTO and that the Formula Drift is a GTB. Is the difference that much? I actually don't know. I'm not that big of a 599 fan. I like the XX, but does it sound different only because the superchargers? Oh boy, I, I thought I thought I could just do that, and no. Where's the, where's the closest tunnel? It's this way, right? I like this thing. I like this thing a lot. Very short gearing up top. That's a big boy and E92. Not a lot of boost though. I like that fifth, five, six gear. Just like no RPM drop. Let's take it around the roundabout. I love the thrall response. It's like instant. Superchargers. Even though this is not how the centrifugal superchargers should work, I don't care because it's like no boost. Seven pounds, not really that much. Oh, here it scream. I like it. I like it a lot. Mm 
one more tower run. It's fairly quiet on the inside. It's mostly like gear noise. And uh, supercharger. I like this car. I feel like I'm gonna drive it a lot. I should take a picture of it for Horizon Promo in case they end up adding more cars to it that way. But let's go to upgrades. Uh, engine, camshafts. <laughs> oh, I like the 999. <laughs> 599, 999. Oh, I like that. But let's keep that. You can't actually upgrade the superchargers at all. But this, we're close to the way. This is a heavy car, meaning very wide road tires. 315. Hmm. I'm surprised they actually have that wide of a tire. I like those Z's, they're cool, but I suspect they're a bit heavy. Yeah. But what, what sports on it? Cause I like the way they look and they fit like most cars I feel like. Definitely gonna need that. And engine spacers, Sorenic, I'm gonna steal that. Uh, turbos, gives it a lot of power, but we're gonna keep it supercharged for two more minutes, okay? Chill. Um, did I change the front tire width? I don't think so. No, I didn't. 315, this is a heavy car. Get rid of 300 pounds. This is now lighter than the Corvette. Which is actually over 3,000 pounds, I think. Arrow, max it out, which is gonna close, give us almost 200 uh, pound, the pounds of downforce. And 100, 100 diff. That's probably like, the reason that's it's probably gonna be more stable. <laughs> I like the 9,000 RPM now. You have arrived at your destination. Oh, this thing, this th thing likes to go backwards. It's way more lively than the Corvette. The Corvette's like kind of stable. Corvette's kind of stable. Uh, this is a bit more lively. But if I check the weight balance, will this thing actually have? Yes. I can feel. I can feel that this thing has more weight over the rear axle. Because it feels kind of mad engine, whereas. Because it's kind of is. It's from mid engine. The whole engine is behind the front axle. I'm gonna have to stretch these gears because with the extra power, this thing is very lively. Hmm. With this power level, we're gonna keep it at this. Just let me take a quick picture because I don't really want to do too much with them. 
I I have to do the freaking Portofino, which I kind of like. It's actually probably one of the prettiest California. It's, it's the prettiest California that they've ever built. Because that's what it is. Also, it sounds like a 488. Okay, I'm, uh, forget about that. Uh, forget about that turn. My retire is too much. No. Really, Subaru? Why don't we have the light lady? Because in Motorsport, they added like the like a high-end legacy that was really cool, and I really like the way it looked. And they didn't have. We don't have that in this car. I hate when they add cars to like Motorsport or Horizon and they don't bring them over to the other game. Shouldn't doesn't the game just use the same models for like cars at least? Because I would think that they did. It's awesome! It's built for corners like this. You have arrived at your destination. That's not a personal best. I can do it though. Why don't I steer into that PI? I can do it. I know I can. But that was a sick engine and I wasn't even trying. It loves, like, long, steady corners. You have arrived at your destination. This is one of my favorite drift cars. I slowed down a bit too much there, but... Now let's give it more power and see how it goes. I love that it, it's kept... Essentially the stock dash, but it's kept like the Ferrari aluminum trim right there. <laughs> oh, actually, I love this car. Uh... Garage, upgrades and tuning. Sorry, superchargers, you were lovely. I'm also gonna add a lot of weight. A lot of weight. But it's actually very similar power. The power is essentially the same. It's just. Well, with the twin turbos, we're actually kind, well, we were, we are 
at the lightest you can get the Corvette. I should probably add a bit more rear tire to be safe. 345s go max, which means now we should have more grip in the rear than the Corvette. I look forward to trying this. You have arrived at your destination. A lot more limiter. The car also feels kind of more understeering, but I do know the reason why, because we added all that rear tire with, meaning the front probably gets pushed more. like this. You have arrived at your destination. Did I get more points the first time? Okay, that was actually very close. Actually, it was only 10,000 away. It's something about me today and getting 10,000 away from setting records. Also, it feels like this thing doesn't straighten as easily. Which is probably going to help us in the needle. You have arrived at your destination. A fair bit. It does straighten very easily if you wanted to. I'm gonna need more gearing. <laughs> yeah. Also, I could probably stretch to five, six gear spacing. How much boost are we run? Okay, that's a lot more boost. <laughs> From like seven pounds to twenty-two pounds, and more efficient way of getting that boost. Jump drift. Oh. Federico, you've built an amazing car. I would get a lighter way flywheel though. <sighs> There's only one more thing to do. Try and be my record. I think I could actually do it with this car because it it's easier to drive and it doesn't straighten as easily. 
and also goes to angle very quickly without being undrivable. So, I think I will actually like this car a lot. I already do. I already do like it a lot. But will it? The Corvette was fun. But I think it's more fun to drive the Mustangs when I think when I think about it a bit. I like the Mustangs, but this V12 Beast. Oh. Oh no 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 no! Oh, I almost held that. Oh, I was like, mm, okay, I, I can do this. I can do this. No, I can't. Oh, the rain. When it is safe to do so. It's so slippery in the rain. You try and drive a Veyron that only has rear wheel drive and Chiron actually. That's only rear wheel drive in the rain. Why does it always have to rain whenever I want to try and do the needle. Nope. It's so much more drivable than a Corvette. It doesn't want to straighten up like the Vat does. And the bat doesn't even have the max tire width on it. I think that would make it very hard to drive. This thing has more weight over the rear axle and slightly wider tires. I think I got like 440 something in the vet. In kind of similar conditions. Kind of rainy, wet conditions. Not by doing that though. This won't be a record attempt. Not a very good line through there. Not a good line through there. Oh, the rain. It's... It's not that noticeable of a difference, but it is kind of the same time. You can feel your car getting a lot less grip, especially when drifting, it's... It's not fun. You feel like you lose all the side by it and forward by it. 
that was my fault. Absolutely my fault. So slippery. There too. You have arrived at your destination. Fifty thousand points. Considering how many times I screwed up, it's possible. Half a million points isn't really that much, but for someone who mostly uses real drive, it's not that bad. I feel like. If we just check the leaderboard, there are people with like 600,000 points. I bet. The needles climb. Uh, it's not that. It's not that either. It's freaking X. Mm, this is just friends and club. <laughs> uh, dubs. In a Mustang with 570. But if we do world, global, 672,000 points. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> How? Formula D9. Wow. <laughs> Holy, you get 600,000? Oof. That's never happening. Ever. But if we... Is there not a way to like, okay, let's go to Horizon Solo. Now it's raining, right? And then we go find a new session. Will it help? Because it's actually like thundering and raining. It's like, okay, it's storming, wow. The... Why is my life like this? You have to have it not rain if you want to have any chance of setting a high point because you won't have the grip. Can I find a new session again? Or do servers actually have synced weather? I actually don't know. Bad entry.
I want to extend that because it looks it's a cleaner line and I feel like you can hold more angle that way. That was not the best way of doing that. I personally don't know the best line per se. I do whatever feels natural. And whatever to my mind and style is the best. I definitely need to break there instead of just let the car rotate. But nope. Not like that. The car barely stops. It's so slippery, the brakes essentially don't work. You have arrived oh! at the destination. <laughs> 450. Oh! I have 5,000 more of that. I know I, I know I have, but I feel like I need to dry. I need it to be dry. I need it to be dry. It can. I I don't think I can. Is that a vantage? It is. I like that car. I like that car a lot. It's a good. It's good. It's a good drift too. Those are the stock wheels. <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah. This car's fun and it's really good. Sounds cool. Um, it sounds cool. It looks good. And uh, yeah, I recommend you. you know, actually, you can't just get one anymore. You can't. No, it's actually. The, this week, no, you can't screw it. No, no, it was, it was in the winter. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's not. It's actually this week. You can actually, I got a few more days. So get it now because it's really good. And yeah. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Also hit the notification bell. Notification bell to be notified whenever I upload. Which hopefully still won't be three months, but who knows with me. I might lose all motivation to actually record stuff. So. <laughs> Goodbye.